How about it? Problem of the daytime. And we have the sum of two numbers is 54. That's pretty nice to know. Oh, and their difference is 24. We're looking for two numbers here. We're looking for both numbers. So let's talk this one through. Let's see what's happening. Sometimes we can play with these numbers and we can think about where they're going to go and such. But you know what? The thing on this one is, first of all, if you look, we have... Two numbers that are important, 54 and 24. But now those aren't the two numbers we're getting, all right? But the two numbers work together to give us a 54, but they also work together in a different way to give us 24. So what does this mean, sum? Obviously an important word. Difference, also an important word. Two clues, two numbers. They have to work simultaneously. Sometimes we call this simultaneous equations. Other times we've heard it called systems of equations. And other times you're just kind of, we're going to just think it through. But I believe we're going to play the systems on this one, all right? And we're going to let X be, how about it, real creative here, right, folks? How about it? First number. <laughs> ah, it's nothing really big about it. It may be the larger number. I guess it will be if we uh, have a difference of 24 being positive there. Um, y will be our second number. I love with creativity. Do y'all not love creativity here on the show? Now, what happens? The sum. Keywords. Addition, addition. Difference? Another keyword. Subtraction, subtraction. So let's do it. X plus Y. That's the two numbers added together. They're going to give us 54. Let's do the subtraction part. How about it? X minus your Y will give us 24. By the way, um, some of you are checking us out on Facebook. Are you getting the right answer yet? Well, we'll find out. All right. We're going to find out here in just a second. So I hope you're tuned in today. I'm looking to, what am I going to do with this? I drew a line underneath the thing. Why, why did I do that? Well, because I want to eliminate. I want to eliminate a variable. And boy, our Ys are just itching to go away. You see why? Because I've got a Y and a minus Y. Say goodbye to those, and we're going to have a, a, a 1 plus 1. You know, <laughs> it's easy, isn't it? 1 plus 1 is 2. But I have many times I have students who will go like, oh, X is, it's an X. No, it's 2X. Be ye careful, all right? That's a careless mistake that will, well, it will get you some really strange answers here if you, do, if you don't do the, uh, put the 2 there. Now, I have 78 because I don't have to worry about any carrying and all those good stuff. So we're ready to split 78 into two equal parts. That's what this is telling us to do. Now let us divide both sides by two. By the way, I want everybody to notice something. These systems are really pretty easy to do. Once you realize you've just got to figure out a way to get rid of the variable, and this one was set up ready to go. So let's see if we get, how about it, x equals 39. I think that's what 78 divided by two is. Yeah, because you know what? You can do that in your head. So you say, really? Uh, 80 is divided by 2 is 40, so we're dropping down 2, and so that's going to give me 39. So that's a nice, easy way to pick up on some of these. 40, 40 is kind of like a benchmark number there. It's easy to do 80 divided by 2. I digress a little bit. But that's one of our values? We hope so. Hope we didn't make any mistakes. We're going to find out in just a second. Now, take it one more shot here. We need to know what plus y is going to give us 50. Well, we already know, right? We're going to take right across here, we're going to say 39 plus y equals to 54. And we're going to find out what y equals. Real straightforward, pretty easy stuff here. Let's subtract our 39 from both sides, because that's the way we do it. Subtraction property of equality. And say goodbye to the 39s on the left. Keep them on the right. Well, keep one on the right, because you're going to subtract here, aren't you? And it looks to me like we're coming up with the number 15 last time I checked. Got a little quick borrow, or you can just hit calculator on those. And all I have left is y, which basically means, let's not make this difficult, y equals 15. Can we check? Of course we can. We've got two numbers. We say they're going to work. We already know 39 plus 15 is going to give us 54. You say, well, I kind of worked that out in my head. You can. You can do some of this stuff in your head. But it's really, really, like, it's kind of nice if you can just see how this algebra works really quick. And what about the other one? Oh, what's, you wanted me to put 54 equals 54? Sure, that does check. Sometimes I digress. Now, the question is, does the other one work? Because we didn't really use it, did we? So we're going to say, let's put in our little x minus y moment. 
and we're going to see what we get. We got 39 minus 15. Do we get 24? That's the big question mark. I think most of you are already out there doing it in your head. Say, yes, we do, Ernie. And that means I got some good numbers there. 39, 15. And remember what I said at the beginning? I said when I put that x minus y equals 24, since that was a positive number, that told me the x was going to be larger than the y. Did it matter? Well, it does in the fact where it hits here, but the two numbers are still going to be 39 and 15. All right, so, but I want you to realize that that was a hint that told me which one was going to be larger. There you have it, all right? So there's your problem of the day.